Today we're going to be doing an oil change on a Vermeer CTX100 with the 40 horsepower diesel engine. We're going to start with getting the support arm out of its holder and putting it in underneath the arms after we lift the arms all the way up and that way the arms won't have a chance of falling down and injuring or killing us. So that's important. Make sure you put that little uh, clip in there and that it's all steady like that and we're good to go. Also, once you get those uh, support arm in there, then you'll just want to kind of put it like that underneath. It will kind of go around that pivot point and uh, yeah. So here we have the Ultra Gold uh, motor oil, the 15W40, two and a half gallons with the oil filter. And that's what we'll be using today to put in this diesel engine. And now we have our regular ratchet with the 13 millimeter socket to get the bolts off for the plate. And then we'll also have this 7 8 inch deep socket you see to the right and with our little breaker bar since that's what fits that socket and then we'll have a low profile skinny oil pan that's able to hold the 10 quarts but will still fit, fit underneath the machine with the limited space that we'll have then we have this other oil container just for convenience to be able to dump the oil into after we're done and carry it to the auto parts store to dispose of also don't forget about the paper towels those will come in clutch so now we'll pop open the hood and we'll take off the oil cap so that way the oil can flow out more quickly when we open up the plug underneath. So just from the standing platform we go under here and we can see the skid plate that covers the oil and those are the 13 millimeter bolts that we're going to remove to get to the oil plug. So we'll just go ahead and remove this plate. As soon as we remove those two bolts, then the plate will just kind of slide out that it hangs on, uh, has a little lip that slides in. So we'll get that out of the way. And now we'll bring in our deep socket and we'll uh, have to fill it out with our hand where the socket is and then just blindly get the socket onto the bolt and break it free. And we'll have to put the oil pan under there uh, closely, but still we'll have to get our hand in there to be able to finish taking off the bolt and let it drain as such. After it's all drained out, then uh, once again, you'll have to take that bolt, slide your finger in there, try to get it uh, threaded on there without getting the oil everywhere. And so once that's done, then we can take out the pan and uh, get that deep socket, seven eighths inch deep socket back on there, just uh, tighten it up snug with the long breaker bar thing that we did. Then we'll just put the skid plate cover back on align it with the 13 millimeter uh, bolts and then just uh, ratchet those back on nice and snug and you'll you'll see there's still some tension as as uh, you get those bolts back on there and then we're all done draining the oil out of it so now we'll move to the side plate just lift up on this side plate with the arms up and that's why we had to bring the arms up and then you can kind of slide it around to get it out there now this is a, a, a one inch to one eighth inch, uh, I believe, uh, deep socket from, from Harbor Freight. And that actually works great to take off this uh, cap for the oil filter. Um, we wanna kinda put as little pressure on the plastic cap as possible since it could easily crack or break. So that's what I decided. You could also use a crescent wrench or whatever just to get it off there, just be careful. So then once we have this oil cap all the way off, then we'll uh, carefully pull it out, trying to keep the oil from going, dripping everywhere. And that's why I put a little towel underneath. And then with this oil filter, uh, first time I did, I thought you had to like unscrew the top or something to get the oil filter off and it, and it just spent long. But really all you have to do is just pull it off. It's, uh, it's stuck on there a little bit, but if you just uh, give it some force and then it will break free and slide right off just like that and it's super simple once you know actually how to do it so uh, after removing the old filter you'll you'll see also that there are o-rings on the filter cap um, here is the new oil filter as you can see it looks uh, symmetrical same on here are the new o-rings that come with the oil filter from Vermeer and then of course here are the oil uh, the o-rings for the oil cap. There's three of them. We'll remove those. Um, here is the just a look inside the oil filter. Um, I just used a reciprocating saws uh, blade since I didn't have a uh, needle nose pliers to get it off. It kind of worked well. Just sliding it off and then uh, pulling those off and replacing them with the new ones. And so Oh, uh, I got all the new ones put back on same spots, the three spots, 
and uh, we're ready to go. So now we'll just put the new filter, slide it back on over there. And you'll see that it still wobbles around at that point. But if you keep pushing it down, then it will click in and you'll feel it nice and sturdy after you push it all the way down like that. It won't wobble back and forth like it did before. So after that, you're ready to put it back in and tighten back the cap down and you know just make it nice and snug once again be careful it's plastic head you don't want to crack it so just be careful use good judgment and just make it nice and snug and those o-rings will kind of seal it off um, all right after that then we'll move to the top and we'll start filling it with the uh, 15w 15w 40 oil uh, the two and a half gallons that we got from Vermeer and we'll just uh, pour most of it on there pour most of it in there and then we'll uh, just check the oil dipstick which is right there on the side with the oil filter just pull that out clean it uh, to get a correct reading put it back in there and then uh, once you pull it back out then you can check it the max is at the very top of that right before the coil so right there is the max sign of the oil uh, level and we're all set. So then we'll just put the cap back on. Uh, we'll put the side back on. Make sure you hook those little side things onto the white little rivets or the nodes. And you can see them in both those pictures. And we're the sides back on. And now we'll, for putting the hood, we'll just lift up that lever uh, as we lift up the hood and that will release it so it can come back down. Lastly, don't forget about the safety support arm. We'll want to remove that, put it back into its holder uh, and then and then we'll be able to lower the arms and that's it. So thanks for watching. Hit the like and let us know in the comments if you have any more questions about this uh, CTX oil change. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.